<laughs> but um, once everyone joined in, then you know it was just it was it was performing. It was fun. Oh man, I'm so gutted that we missed it. <laughs> it just would have been amazing seeing all you just jump up and do a ukulele thing. Um, what colour is your ukulele? Because there are so many out there at the what moment. What colour? Well, it's a, um, a brown ukulele. Oh, it's one of the fl- Although, one of the flashy. Yeah, flashy. Yeah, that's yes. good. Very Augmented nice. with a purple flower, though, of course. Oh, very nice. Because <laughs> talking about the whole nerves thing, you were standing up there for a good. Mm. Or, it seemed like mm. maybe thirty to forty seconds mm. by yourself. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm used to it. It's it's I you just treat it like performing. And, shaking. Uh, yeah, shaking. Yeah. <laughs> Was it like that point when before you got up to do it that where you're about to jump off a bungee jump? Yes. And you're yeah. like, I've got to do it, I've got to do it yeah. now. Yeah, you, you, you have that, that thought, well, um, who's making me do this? Oh, that's right, it's me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, incredible, incredible result. From where to go, because these things don't, well, you know, they look like they, they just happen yeah. clearly. But um, what about the, the planning process? How long did it take? Well, about four months. Wow. Yeah, from when I first started thinking, here's something that we should do. There hasn't been a flash mob, a music flash mob in Palmerston North. And um, started working it out because there isn't really an instruction book. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, and and talking about it with um, with my um, assistant in the community choir, Jill Brider, and and then the lovely Chris Murray, who's actually in my ukulele group, came yes. on board from Outpost. And we started hatching a bit of a plan. And then we talked to the plaza, which, of course, is very important. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you've got to totally surprise right? them. <laughs> yeah. And they were fantastic and very excited about it. And uh, so I started... Um, did you have to pay for your parking? Uh-huh, I did, actually. <laughs> oh, that's yes, not right. I know. Let's get a refund that's of that, right. I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but so then the song choice was really important. Yeah. You know, and we had a short list and uh, it had to be something that was um, well known. Yeah. Really singable, yeah. really playable on the ukulele. Yeah. And I don't know, something had a special feel about yes, it. Yes, yeah. You know? yep. And um, the deciding factor was that I had a little trip to the States a few months ago and I was up the Sears Tower in Chicago, the yeah. tallest, and Let It Be was playing. Wow. And I just went, oh, it's a bit of a sign. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is it. So I came, I went, yep, okay, that's the song. Was it was it a, a, a membership drive as such, or was it just just something cool that you wanted to nail? Not really a membership drive. No, um, I saw an opportunity there to bring music to people uh, who wouldn't normally necessarily experience that type of music. Um, and it sort of goes along the philosophy of my groups, which are all community groups, yeah, and yeah. Uh, open to all um, uh, places where um, anybody can come and make music in a really um, safe environment. If you happen to be a 34-year-old male, for example, <laughs> that uh, used to be in the boing, school boing, choir... Boing, 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 light going off on the top of Richard's head. <laughs> and hasn't sung professionally oh, yeah. or otherwise other than in the shower or, you know, maybe karaoke at yeah. the China Inn yeah. uh, in, <laughs> since since he left school. Is there is there room for people like that in the choir? I mean, are you picky? Oh, we're not picky at all. Anybody's welcome. If you can walk in the door, then you're in the choir. That's probably, and that that is probably <laughs> the biggest challenge, isn't it? Absolutely. It is. But a lot of people bring bring their friends, they hold their hands yeah. and say, come and check this out. We had such a lot of fun on Monday nights. Yeah, but it's, um, I mean, there's some fantastic choirs in Palmerston North, but we're a little bit different in that no, you don't have to read music. Um, and there are no auditions. You don't even have to sign up. You can just come casually. Wow. Yeah, the odd Monday, if you know, think, oh, I feel like a bit of a sing, I might go along to <laughs> community choir. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> um, if people do want to maybe pop along or they want some more info, how can they do it? Sure. Mondays, uh, we're on break at the moment, the holidays. First of August, we start up um, 7 o'clock at the Wesley, Wesley Hall. You can t- um, check out our website. Site manatucommunitychoir.org.nz. It really is a is a fabulous, fabulous uh, flash mob. Are you all right if we chuck it up on the Classic Hits website? Absolutely, go for it. All right, so we'll do that shortly. You can check it out at classichits.co.nz or else uh, on Twitter and Facebook. I tweeted and Facebooked about it yesterday. It's very clever. Well done, and Thank um, thanks for coming in. Pleasure. It is 844.